Daisy Update 117 has finally released to stable servers. Let's go through everything new that has been added. They've added in the CR-550 sniper rifle. I have done a video where I've gone more in-depth on these weapons, so if you want to check that out, I will leave it linked in the description down below. They have added in the P1 pistol. They have added in the Longhorn Pistol. They've also added in two different spears. They have added in a bone spear and they have added in a stone spear. They have also added in craftable rag clothing. They have added in a craftable rope belt. They have added in a craftable gas mask filter. They have added in a new birch broom which can be set on fire and placed on the ground as a torch. They have added in a meat cleaver. They have added in a bone knife. They have added in a kitchen timer.
They've added in a craftable cooking stand. And last but not least, which was not mentioned in any of the patch notes, they have added in a new motorbike helmet. This helmet has what seems to be a broken visor, nails going through it, and it all kind of battered up. There has been theories that this motorbike helmet leads towards Hannah's lore, and anything that has to do with Hannah's lore has never been added in the patch notes. So you will find these around the place. So if you find them, that's what it is. The town of Zion Charneris has been completely reworked. And there has been a new POI added to Livonia. This new POI is a castle slash military compound and it is located east of Carlin. And that's pretty much all the main important stuff that has been added or changed. Gas mask filters can now be refilled with charcoal tablets. Additional sensitivity settings. Cookware is slowly getting damaged by being used. Gas mask filters get damaged while in use. Vice activation settings for Vipe. Ability to go back and forth through multiple actions on the same item. So let's go through everything fixed. Gear could not be added to other players' inventories. The sound of hitting an obstacle with a vehicle while reversing wasn't played. Dropped items were pushing upwards in certain situations. During punching the player would turn sideways in some situations. The sound of the Sarkin 120 engine came from the front whereas the engine's in the back. Shelters weren't buildable on some places. A burned out fireplace is no longer producing light. Cancelling activation of bear trap and landmines caused errors. Fixed rendering exploits related to buildings. The visual effect of the contaminated area partially persisted after it was despawned. Focus zoom briefly reset during several actions in the first person. Hair clipping with MVG head strap on the female characters. An incorrect texture on ruined wheels caused a server error on restart. Issues with object occlusion on military guardhouse. Players could climb through closed windows on some buildings. The player was able to pick up the fire barrel while items are still attached to it. The sound of starting slash stopping the engine was not persistent for other players. The sound of opening and closing vehicle doors was not persistent for other players. The sound of turning on and off the alarm clock wasn't audible for other players. The staircase hand drill in one of the city house blocks was missing a collision. The attachment icon did not correctly reflect the attached optics and rails on weapons. Attaching more nails to the flagpole caused errors. Sharpened wooden sticks caused errors when damaged. Filtering server by favorited gives errors. Nine in the browser server. Traps did not react to vehicles. Head tracking track IR didn't work. Fixed several environmental issues on Chenner's and Livonia. Certain gestures would make the character float above the ground when executed in prone. Light and heavy melee attack combinations would sometimes result in too much damage. Sound of ear ringing caused by flash grenade could get stuck at some situations. Rune Jovka hat did not properly affect its state. Mouse cursor was invisible in the respawn menu. So again, there has been actually quite a few more fixed items that have been added in since the experimental patch, which is also great to see. So now let's go through everything changed. Adding a favorite server when already at max 25 will throw an error instead of removing a random favorite. Microphone now continues to listen while the player is tabbed out, but only if the option graphics and sound is set in the update in the background. Vipe push to talk mode now has a release delay of 0.5 seconds to prevent voice cutouts. All heat sources are now emitting heat. Sensitivity settings is now exponential instead of linear. Bark can now be harvested with axes. Drain and pour liquid actions are now properly separated. Adjusted the wolf model to allow more precise headshots. The burning duration of torches now correctly depends on the amount of fuel. Food can be baked and cooked where even without lard or water. Food loses its quantity when cooked and cooked where even without lard or water. Weapon sway increases dramatically while the character is rolling. 
Fireplaces start heating up the player character faster now. Position of the light source for the Sark 120 when only a single headlight is on was set to the proper position. Players are no longer able to get into a vehicle while holding a heavy item. Stone knives can be no longer sharpened with a sharpening stone. Action inputs will be prioritized over inventory actions. So again, uh, a few new things have been added to the change section as well, which is great to see. Uh, there is a lot of different stuff for modding that has been added as well, which I'm not going to go through because I don't really know how it works. And there is some known issues as well, which will quickly go through. Landmines disappear after being disarmed. Thrown spears, sharp slash long wooden sticks and torches fall under the ground. Missing sound while base building or mining stones with the meat tenderizer. Player gets desynced when equipping a weapon after cancelling equip animation before. When kindling slash fuel items become ruined in a fire, player is unable to add the same item before the ruined ones disappear. Roasting sound effect remains for cooking equipment even after the roasting is done. Raise flag on the flagpole is missing an option to lower the flag. There are some of the known issues there, but otherwise pretty good update nonetheless. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this down below. It's good to see that they've added even more fixes and changes since the last experimental update. So it's definitely going to be uh, a good update for sure. All official servers and characters should be also wiped as well. So it's going to be an absolute field day on official servers. But until then, I should catch you guys in the next one. So, peace out for now.